What's going on guys, it's Webb bringing you another video. Today I'm going over five things that you did not know, or at least you may not have known in Photoshop. So starting off with number one, for the five, it's they're mostly going to be quick little tricks and tips that are just going to help you uh, move faster along with your work in Photoshop, or things that are just going to make your life easier. So starting with the first one, uh, it's how to change the color of text really quick. So a lot of people... You know, they'll either like double click this, come in here, and then change the color to whatever it may be. Um, but in reality, there's a quicker way. So let's put this back on black. And let's say I wanted to make a yellow or goldish. I don't love pure yellow. All you have to do is Alt Backspace and it'll fill. So you just have to be selected over the text. Alt Backspace on a Mac, I believe it will be Option Backspace or Option Delete. Um, and yeah, that's tip number one. Tip number two is how to change the color of any object in Photoshop. And you can do this multiple ways, but the way I'm going over today is using the color replacement tool. Okay, so you want to come up here. It's right, it should be right under your healing brush, but some people's toolbars are different. So it'll be in this section. You have your color replacement tool. And let's say I want to make the color, I want to make it blue. All right. All you have to do is take this little plus sign and click over where you want it. I'm going to put the tolerance down a little bit. It's a little high. Um, put it about 49 on contiguous. And then I normally use this first option. And then also you can change your uh, modes. I'm going to do color. And so then you can just fill in here. I don't know why my hardness is up. Keep it on about 0% hardness normally. And you just want to fill in, and if you get some of those halos, and it's not getting spots that you want, you're just going to have to turn your tolerance up a little bit, which obviously it needs to be even higher, and you'll see it starts filling that in. So that's just filling in your tolerance, because lower your tolerance, it'll stay as close to the color as possible. And if you up the tolerance, it'll be able to go a little bit outside of the range. So, make sure you stay in the lines as well. Now we have our blue ladybug. So color replacement tool, you can see we kind of went out of the lines. Um, obviously you want to be more precise. As, for the sake of a to tutorial, it'll be all right. But that is how to change the color pretty quickly for any object in Photoshop. Okay, for tip number three, um, this can really be done with most of the effects. Uh, but for this instance, I'm showing you drop shadow. So, normally when people are making a drop shadow, they'll change the angle to wherever they want, and the distance, you know. Uh, they'll change it all by using this these options in here. But, what you can do, and this is with most of the effects in here, you can actually come in here, click, and drag. Make sure you're on the right one, obviously. Um, so, like, for example, if I'm on Enter Shadow... Let's just put this to normal blending mode. I can come in here and just move it to whatever angle I want instead of having to mess with the angle. So, tip number three is how to move effects uh, quicker rather than coming in here and messing with all the angles and the distances and so forth. So you can just always, you have to make sure you're on the selected layer style because like for example if I have this open Still going to move the inner shadow. So make sure you're on the selected layer style that you want to move. And then you can just click and drag it to where you want. Come back in the drop shadow. And that works for most of the effects or the in here. So there you go. That is tip number three. Tip number four is how to get a color from another page outside of Photoshop onto Photoshop. Uh, into your from your eye with your eyedropper tool so you're going to want to click either here or you can click on your eyedropper tool up there and then you want to make sure you're in the photoshop app click in hold it drag it out to the color you want as you can see now 
over here, it was getting it. So if I want this, let's say I want this yellow. Didn't mean to right click. Let's say I want that yellow. And then we click OK. Now I can just fill in that color. Uh, make sure that you don't try to take your eyedropper tool out of Photoshop and then click. That's, that's not going to work. So make sure you click inside and then drag out to whatever color you may want. and It'll get it for you. Tip number four. Tip number five is going to be using black and white to control luminance um, or to adjust your luminance. So if I go in here, right? You want to make sure, so you create a black and white blending mode, put it on luminosity, and then let's just say I want to make my yellows darker or brighter. I want them brighter in this case. And let me make that full screen again. So I can take my yellows up, the reds, maybe I want them a little bit brighter, the blues, a little bit darker, brighten those up. So yeah, you can mess with that. Um, it's a really good tool if you just want to. Uh, brighten any colors or darken them. Always have that option to make a black and white adjustment overlay and then put it on luminosity for the blending mode and then just play with the sliders. That is all five for this video. If you do want to see another one of these let me know below and uh, maybe I'll drop one next week or in the next couple days. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and we will see you in the next one.